Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I got my big hoof t-shirt on today. It came from Bonfire this week, so I'm super excited about those. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, post a picture uh, with your t-shirts. We'd love to see them and love your thoughts on how they turned out. If you liked them, if you hated them, let us know. Um, for some reason, we auto-renewed our subscription, uh, so another campaign started. So if you do want to still participate and get a t-shirt, uh, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can go ahead and get those through Bonfire. But this video is about this big guy over here. This is Liam. If you don't know Liam's story, he was rescued back in April, at the beginning of April. We rescued him from Bowie, Texas Livestock and found out that he has severe arthritis in his front legs his two his coffin joints in both front legs have arthritis and also his pasture joint in his front left leg when we first got him we started taking him for steroid injections in his joints and got him on pain medications and that's really been helping him um, so we've been making sure that we stay on top of those and if we see him start to limp a little bit more than normal we get him back in and get his steroid injections and then he's on the road to recovery again so um, we are actually going to try something else with Liam. I was doing a bunch of research on ways to help horses with arthritis, and I found out that acupuncture really helps horses um, with severe arthritis. So on July 25th, Dr. Megan Hardy is going to be coming out to the farm to do acupuncture on Liam's joints. And she's also going, thank you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's, that, that's good. Okay, just stay there. Um, she's also going to do, um, <laughs> she's also also going to do uh, acupuncture on Quinn's leg. If you don't know Quinn's story, I'll put in a link in the description below to uh, his story as well. And if you don't know Liam's story, I'll put a link in the description below uh, with all of Liam's videos that we have so far on him. Um, but this is an update on Liam. So back a couple months ago before we got him his steroid shots and everything that we did for his arthritis to make him feel better, we kept him in the barn on stall rest and uh, just to observe him to make sure that he wasn't in too much pain or didn't have too many problems walking because he was limping around a lot. Yes. So uh, we kept him in the barn. Well, apparently he had had enough of being in a stall and this happened. I went out to check on everyone one afternoon and went into complete panic mode as I saw Liam coming out the side door. That door goes into a room that we're in the process of building and underneath where he's standing right now is a pallet with a giant hole because Corey is still working on the underground septic and water going into that room that we're adding on in the barn. So he's standing on a pallet, so I completely freaked out. I had no lead ropes, no halters, no anything to get him back into the barn or into the paddock area. So thank goodness he followed me right into the paddock area. But he gave me an absolute heart attack because I thought he was going to fall through that pallet and go into that hole. But thankfully that pallet held him and we got him into the paddock area. The problem I had now is that all the other horses were already turned out for the day out in the pasture area and were all standing around in the paddock. Liam hadn't met any of the other horses face to face and we hadn't done integration, so I'm out there now trying to keep the horses back so they wouldn't attack Liam. Finn was out there and he was my biggest concern at this point because I didn't want him to go after Liam and try to kick him or anything. <laughs> So after I got him into the paddock area, I went back into the barn because I was afraid he destroyed everything. And all I found was the gate open, so I wanted to see what he did to get out. So this was the video footage of him actually escaping. When I went back and reviewed all the video footage, it looked like he had escaped and been out inside the barn for about an hour. I don't understand why he went through that side door when the big front barn door was open and he could have just walked straight out, but he didn't do that. He decided to rummage through the barn for quite some time. Uh, he knocked over my goat's milking stand and got into the hay. So some of that's on video and I'll show that here now. Uh, some of it was not included.
But this was the first time that he was out in the paddock area, so of course after all that exercise, we had needed to get a drink. Charlie, of course, was not happy about another gelding out in the paddock area, so he wanted to attack him as well. <laughs> Luckily, Charlie was behind that fence right there and couldn't get to him, but this was his first time out in the paddock area and walking around uh, with no incidents, and we got him back into his stall. Looking back on it now, it was funny, but at the time it was terrifying for me because I just didn't want the other horses to surround him or start kicking him or hurt him in any other way because he obviously was having some difficulty still walking. But his steroid injections were starting to work, so this was a good sign as he was starting to bend his legs a little bit more. And with all that exercise, we needed a nap after our big adventure out. New gate installed. We'll see how long this one lasts. This was the gate we destroyed. Good job, Liam. <laughs> but he gave me a heart attack and I honestly thought he was going to fall through the pallet that's out there. Um, he's just, he's such a big horse. When we had him to the vet last, he was 1,875 pounds. So I am shocked that that pallet held up. I am grateful that that pallet held up, but I was so scared that he was gonna, he was gonna fall in that hole that's out there. And it was quite traumatic. So you almost gave me a heart attack when you did that. Um, but he's doing really well. And this is kind of an update on how he's been doing. Since Liam's great escape, we do give him access to the pasture area now that we know that he's okay and he can walk around and knows his way around the pasture and the paddock area. We do let him out after breakfast. He explores all day long and grazes and then comes back in at night for dinner and then we keep him in for the evening so he can lay down and get rest for the night. But this way he has all day to spend with the other horses grazing and just being a horse and enjoying retirement. Aline, ears forward, stop biting him. She's not very nice, is she? Liam is one of the only horses that actually likes coming inside the barn. We figured out that he liked coming in to sleep inside the barn at night. So since he is such a big horse, we added some extra padding and gave him some pine shavings. So we've been putting these in his run now and he seems to really enjoy them. After cleaning his stall, he likes his pine shavings so much that he's actually trying to help me put the new pine shavings down for him. Liam is just the sweetest boy, and how could you say no to this nose? These are a few other pictures of Liam. I thought he was absolutely adorable and wanted to include them for you to see.
at the beginning of june we got a bunch of rain and our runs flooded liam thought that this was the best thing because he had his own private swimming pool Probably should have backed up because he covered me in mud water. Now you're a mess. And the big man likes to roll around just like all the other horses do. My friend Michelle was here visiting from Las Vegas with her kids and caught some amazing pictures of Liam. It's just so awesome to watch everyone interact with him and to watch people's expressions. I met Michelle when I was living in Las Vegas. We were going to photography school together. And as you can tell by these pictures, Michelle is an extremely talented photographer and definitely needs to start picking up her camera more often. <laughs> Hold on to that, don't let him drop it all. I was like knee deep in that Liam wasn't quite awake one morning when I came out to feed him breakfast and he's very tired because you can see him yawning here. extremely hot here over the last couple weeks so I put out some extra water tanks for the horses. Liam thinks that this is the best swimming pool ever. Liam was starting to walk around a little bit more stiff, so we did take him for another set of steroid injections. So this is Dr. Wagner at MVP doing his uh, coffin joint injections. Since Liam is so big, Dr. Wagner wanted to make sure that the needle was in his coffin joint. So she's taking an x-ray here to make sure that the needle is in the right place before she puts the steroid in there for maximum benefits.
When Liam's joints start to get a little bit sore, he does shift a lot back and forth. So that's why Dr. Wagner's having a little bit of an issue with him standing still to get the steroid injection completed. Dutch was happy to see him when he got home from the vet's office. The day after his steroid injections, he's still a little bit stiff, but by the second or third day, he's up and moving around like normal again. By the third day, Liam was feeling friendly. Miley usually doesn't get along with anyone, but this is Liam uh, trying to make friends with Miley. She's tolerating him for the most part, but kind of just ignoring him. Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah, do you want breakfast? This is Liam and Dutch grooming each other out in the paddock area. Dutch is Liam's best friend. And one morning after breakfast, I got a pretty good shot of all the horses all together. I think I'm missing two horses here, but that's pretty much everyone. But this has been an update on Liam and how he is doing. He is a sweetheart and we do love him and we're so glad that he's enjoying his retirement here on the farm. And we will keep you updated on all the other horses as well. I know I keep saying that, but things have just been crazy. And with everything that happened with Amara, it was pretty traumatic here for a little while. So we're getting through that and working through it. And thank you all for your comments and love and support. Um, most of the time your comments bring me to tears because they're so kind and so thoughtful and we really appreciate it and we really appreciate all of your support. Um, what else do we need to talk about? Hmm. Everyone always asks how they can help and how they can support our farm. Uh, we do have goat milk soap available which is made with natural products and essential oils that's available at FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com. Um, under the shop, our goat milk soap, all our profits do go to support the horses and to help them uh, with anything that they need, feed, hay, all that. Um, if you do want to make a charitable donation, you can make that through the Big Hoof Foundation. You can also still purchase our t-shirts for another two weeks and I'll put a link in the description below for that or if you want to support us uh, with feed <laughs> there's a, we always need feed that's the one thing that we go through the most is feed and alpha pro so you can do that through HF and C Amarillo and I'll put a link in the description below for that as well we also do have an Amazon wish list if you want to support us that way um, Thank you. Thank you all to everyone that has sent us gifts from our Amazon wish list and sent donations and gifts of Alpha Pro. It's just amazing and we just can't thank you enough for all of your support. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to be doing this and rescuing all these beautiful animals. Um, so again, thank you all so much for all of your support. We truly do, truly appreciate it. But yeah, stay tuned for more updates and we'll keep you posted on how everyone else is doing. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.